Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with another modeling video. This is my second video in the honing your airbrush skills. Now I was having a really bad week and I rage quitted uh, while airbrushing and I let lacquers dry inside. A real big no no. Uh, you never do that. Uh, the needle and the nozzle has. Uh, worn out a bit, splattering a bit, I can't even pull the fucking needle out. <laughs> so I'm going to um, talk about needle and nozzle replacement when things start to splatter and the needle, the nozzle is not clogged. Your needle or nozzle is generally stuffed. Now in airbrushing there are so many brushes and brands and whatnot. And people like Pache or uh, Iwata, whatnot. I'm a big fan of Mr. Hobby, uh, Spa Max, anything that's the DH103 line of airbrushes. This is almost like a standard across um, tattooing, makeup, stuff like that, because parts for it is insanely available, free to find, easy to buy on eBay. You can accumulate them and they're insanely cheap and just over here I've got a nozzle ready for replacement and a needle the best thing about the aftermarket Chinese needles they're only about a dollar a piece same with the nozzle but their um, taper is really really fine and the length fits uh, all one um, DH 103 uh, line of airbrushes another amazing thing about buying this airbrush is if you damage or wear out any of the parts you can buy you can buy a Chinese knockoff now these are getting pretty damn good over the past few years and cheaper and cheaper generally a lot of the internals the o-rings the nozzle head the triggers the air bits anything that wears out or you need to replace could just pull off this and pull into your more generally expensive airbrush yeah most of the parts is interchangeable except for the outer bodies and this is the reason why I love the Sparmax DH103 I'm going to change the crown heads because I haven't been happy with the existing one and uh, as I did last uh, time I'll be airbrushing and practicing some more straight lines might do this as a weekly video thing need to give him a really good clean out change uh, those parts around uh, drain the compressor of water and let's see how we go the airbrush is fully cleaned out loaded with some lacquer paint because I'll be doing pre post shading with that uh, tonight I've uh, swapped the crown the very top that goes around the nozzle and it performs a lot better this is why it's awesome that uh, you can buy a hundred and fifty dollar fine Sparmax DH103 airbrush go on eBay buy a Chinese bootleg of a similar thing same um, parameters and designs and just swap out parts and it's beautifully and nicely machined the only thing I don't like about the cheaper Chinese ones is the pullback mechanisms and the inside construction of uh, how you pull it apart to clean. That aside, let's draw some lines. Now, as always, a fair warning. Uh, this uh, video, again, is not a tutorial. Uh, there is uh, some criticisms I'm definitely going to receive knowing what uh, the majority of airbrushes are like out there. Uh, with um, proper care, and I mean like really anal care for super expensive airbrushes, you shouldn't really ever tear the uh, nozzle head or uh, bend the needle um, unless you drop it or something. Unfortunately, with uh, very constant use and sometimes uh, slight rough use, transportation, sitting around, uh, the cat knocking over the damn thing, sort of things you can't really uh, get around and um, damage can occur to those two super fine um, parts the needle and the nozzle that's uh, where the paint is um, atomizing and passing through to make uh, contact with the surface and that's going to give you the most grief if those areas are damaged 
over any other areas such as paint mixing, uh, water, whatever. But obviously all of these elements uh, contribute with each other and the more mistakes and problems going around the atomizing, the harder it is to uh, fault find whatever's going wrong to uh, get that uh, perfect uh, finish. And this is, again, to the reason why I'm doing these uh, practice uh, sessions trying to uh, outline and smooth out uh, the bad habits that I do have and uh, try to look at uh, smaller things if uh, there is a problem with uh, the airbrush, uh, the paint mixture, the air quality or of course the pressure of the air. Now just to quickly acknowledge some comments from the previous video and of course at the end of uh, the spraying segment I'll uh, critique my own lines. I was uh, suggested for very fine lines taking the uh, crown off. I've uh, tried this a long time ago with uh, no results but I'm definitely going to try again in the uh, third video. I'll keep this up as a once a month thing. And uh, another uh, comment suggests for me and other people attempting this, uh, if you want to have a better position in uh, spraying, uh, sticky tape the paper on the wall or some sort of uh, drafting table for a better angle. Uh, I'm, I'm happy how I'm doing it here for uh, filming purposes, but some things to uh, keep in mind for those guys at home uh, playing along with this series. So let's look at what we've done. The first two lines, I haven't learnt too much. Looking close, not a lot of splattering, but we've got the breakups and they're a bit fat. Made sure to 100% drain all the water. And as we go closer along, the lines are getting finer as if done with a pencil. Now they're still not very straight and they're a bit wonky and the ends have got tragic endings. But hey, this is only the second video that I'm trying to uh, hone my skills, get better, so I can do better for the hobby. And just a little, you know, mucking around because, hey, I'm going to do other effects besides drawing straight lines. Nonetheless, I'll keep practicing and let's see what the uh, future holds and just some more ideas of uh, my uh, journey on improving and uh, what I can teach from these lessons of my own in um, choice of airbrush, maintenance, paint mixing, thinning and uh, all matters that involve atomizing the air and the paint. Catch you guys next time and thank you for watching.